How about now? There we go. All right. Hey, everybody. No idea why, but uh, the mic was not working there for a minute. Looks like it's working now. How's it going, folks? Welcome to Flesh and Blood Unseals. My name is Sires. I got some boxes of Monarch here. And I got some contestants. They would like to find out what's inside of them. You know, I'd like to find out too. I think together, we will find out. The way this works is that I crack the box, I split it in half, I give half the packs to Heath, and I give half the packs to Josh. And whichever one of them gets the single highest valued card is going to take the entire box home. Yeah, we're going to go four boxes deep tonight. This is box number one. I don't see my dice cup anywhere, so I'm just going to roll the die by hand. I was supposed to look for that last night, but I forgot. Heath, you are odd. Josh, you are even. Even it is. Good luck to both of you. Should be a fun little matchup here. This Monarch is just Spice Town. Still kind of getting a feel for it. But uh, I gotta say, I think it's a little bit spicier than Crucible. So that's, that's a good thing. That makes it really fun to open. So let's see what we can do. can do. Just gonna get this little box out of my way here. Okay, we're starting off with the soul shackle. A little bit of cardboard on the mat from the last time we were battling here. Alright, there we go. Soul shackle. We're gonna grab the next four. And that would be all the goodies. Hey, speaking of goodies, Lumina Ascension, right off the bat. Josh, welcome to the arena. I think you know how this works. <laughs> Good start. Battlefield Blitz. Ironhide Gauntlet is your equipment. Consuming Aftermath, Rainbow Rare. All right. So Heath, your opponent did not waste any time. He's already got one Majestic on the board. It's not a foil though. So, you know, I think you've got a chance here. Pretty good chance. It's not too late. Don't hang your head in shame yet. Many packs to go, right? 12. <laughs> okay, here we go. Just getting things arranged here still. All right, Out Muscle. That's a rare. Convulsions from the Bellows of Hell. Ironhide Plate is your equipment. And... Take Flight. That's a common. Rainbow Common. Take Flight. Alright, there we go. I was trying to sit in my stool to open this stuff. Tell you what, folks. It's too spicy. I just can't take it sitting down. I'm going to stand the whole time. All right. I feel better about it this way. Okay, Josh, here we go. Consuming Aftermath. 
Captain's Call. Aether Iron Weave is your equipment. Arcanic Crackle. That one's got a pretty cool kind of art thing going on. His blade looks a little bit like the Cracked Bobble does. A little Arcanic Fire going on or something. Alright, Heath. What are we doing for Heath? Seek Horizon. That's just a rare there, buddy. I like the art on that one. Valiant Thrust. Aether Iron Weave for equipment. Hungering Slaughter Beast. Aw, he's so cute, right? You just want him for a pet? Probably not. Gosh, your turn, buddy. We got a Levia pack. Battlefield Blitz. That's a rare. Dimensional Gateway. Gallantry Gold for your equipment. Seek Horizon. That beautiful artwork again. This would make, would make like a nice... Uh, I could see putting this on the wall, you know? It's pretty cool. There's nobody getting murdered, so my kids wouldn't, like, freak out. Okay. There we go. Nice hatchet. That's a really nice looking hatchet. Hatchet of body. Hmm. All right, Heath. Invigorating light. Pulping. Making smoothies. Halo of illumination. I want to see that one in cold foil tonight. Yinty Yanty. Let's get the halo in cold foil tonight. How about a ravenous meat axe for Josh? You got that fancy hatchet, then you got the ravenous meat axe. All right, dimensional crossroads for Josh. He's going in. Majestic number two. Dimensional crossroads. Glisten. That's a rare. Gallantry gold for your equipment. Take flight. Okay. He took a big swing and then he took off, Heath. What are you going to do about it? This is your chance to murk him back. I mean, you got a bunch of chances, but, you know. I say do it now. Herald of Erudition. Nice. I give pronunciation lessons if anybody needs them. Herald of Erudition. Okay. All right. Herald of Triumph. Ironhide legs. I gotta stop making that joke. Warmonger's Recital. Yeah. Nice one, Heath. That reminds me, we've got to get a new, uh, a new cover photo for the group. Let's see if we can't figure something out. All right, Josh. Convulsions from the bellows of hell. Invigorating light. Stubby hammers. Herald of Triumph. There's a whole bunch of stuff we got to get done around here right now, folks. I tell you what, I got a, I got like a list. I got a backlog of things I need to get done for Flesh and Blood Unseals, and uh, it's a really cool, fun list, and it's really hard to figure out what to do next and what part is like the most important. Man, it's like I need to tell my day job to fuck off for a minute or something so I can just get some shit done for, for you know, all this flesh and blood fun. All right, Heath, plow through. Glisten. Time skippers. 
Valiant Thrust. I think I'll probably just go for three day weekends though. Josh is pulling a prison pack. Somebody's waifu, Josh. Not mine. Okay, glisten. Oh, not, that's not a glisten. It kind of looks like glisten, right? Check that out. I hadn't noticed that before, actually. They're kind of similar. Yeah, anyway. Genesis. That is a majestic hit. Josh, majestic hit number three. Vexing Malice. Hooves of the Shadow Beast. Is that a... Wow, what is that? We gotta look at that. I think there's like a big print line or a roller line or something in that. And another Warmonger's Recital. Okay, let's look at this. Yeah, wow. Check that out. Let's see if it... Uh, yeah. Big time roller line in that thing. Not good. Nobody's trying to... to uh, grade that one so I think we're okay you typically don't see that kind of damage to the cards though all right Heath oh Heath look at you buddy how about a majestic dread scythe you know, that might be worth more than the Rainbow Foil Majestics for the most part. I'm going to have to look that one up. We're going to have to find out. Dread Scythe. Nice hit. Definitely short printed. Uh, printed. Writhing Beast Hulk behind that. Blood Drop Brocade. Arguably the prettiest dress in the game these days. I don't know about that tunic anymore. Pound for pound. Of course, the brocade is just a common, so it's got that going. Or not going, if you will. Let's go ahead and take a look at the price of that card. The Dread Sight. Mm -hmm. All right. I'm surprised. Well, Plus five dollars shipping. Mm -hmm. Okay, twenty-eight bucks. Twenty-eight bucks. That's pretty decent. Not a bad hit. Okay, but for twenty-eight bucks, I kind of want to go buy some. I don't know. Is it just me? That seems kind of cheap. Josh, invert existence. Josh says, it's mine. You can't have that scythe. Oh, no. Okay. Valiant Thrust. Ironhide Gauntlet. That Ironhide Gauntlet has the same roller line thing going on, folks. Herald of Triumph. Yeah, check that out. Same thing. Right through there. Huh. Roller lines galore. Equipment. Minnowism. Hmm. All right. There's minnowism, and then there's a. Oh, I can't remember the other name. The other card. But minnowism and another card play off each other. You put them both in the same deck, and I don't know. I don't know if the combo's worthwhile or not. All right, Josh. Tremor of Irathiel. That's a rare. Phantasmify. Dream Weavers. Ooh, how about that? Majestic Rainbow Foil. Tome of Divinity. Okay, I like it. The Celestial Cataclysm and the Tome of Divinity on his side. Wow, Josh. Heath, you know what to do, bud. Merc him. He's murking you right now. You gonna let him do that? Let's find out. Battlefield Blitz, that's a rare. The Trevor. The Stubby Hammers. Memorial Ground. Now that's another kind of cool looking piece of art. I wouldn't put it on my wall because, you know, cemetery, creepy, but pretty nice. Uh, 
I see Heath calling for a library in the comments. We'll see what we can do for you, Heath. First, got to get this crack bobble pack out of the way for Josh here. The last crack bobble pack of his was pretty hot. Rise above, Josh. Prismatic shield. Ironhide helm. Dread Screamer. Ugh. AKA Brain Eater. Nasty fucker. Okay. Bolton, go find that Dread Screamer and kill it for me. I don't like it. Alright, Heath. Tremor. You had a tremor last time. Convulsions from the bellows of hell. The halo. And minnowism. Okay, well. This is uh, getting down there. We're four packs left. Yet to hit a cold foil. I suspect more spice is hiding in here somewhere, though. Valiant Thrust by Josh. Herald of Triumph. Time Skippers. Speaking of which, Iron Hide Legs. There you have it. Cold foil, Iron Hide Legs. Nice hit for Josh. That is a common cold foil. The Majestics are really friggin' hard to hit. Alright, there we have it. Heath, you got two packs left, buddy. Josh just keeps pushing that bar higher and higher and higher. If you want to jump over that thing, we all want to watch. Don't let that cold foil stop you. Unhallowed rights. You just gotta jump higher. Riding Beast Hulk. Evan Fold. Brandish. Okay. Last swing for Josh. Solid lead for you, buddy. You kind of murked Heath from, from the get-go. I don't know. I don't know about this. Let's find out. What's it going to be? Vexing Malice. Merciful Retribution. Halo of Illumination. And Dimensional Gateway. Okay, well. All right, Heath. Last chance, man. One last dark pack to hopefully light your way to victory, huh? find out. Here we go. A writhing Beast Hulk. Prismatic Shield. Iron Hide Legs. Zealous Belting. That wasn't it. Okay, Heath. That's it. It's over with. All she wrote, buddy. Josh, congratulations with your iron hide legs and pretty much all the rest of the spice, you won. Heath got that kick-ass scythe, which was, you know, a really cool looking scythe. But, you know, the Herald of Erudition and the scythe, not really enough. Iron hide legs, cold foil. Tome of Divinity, rainbow foil majestic right there. Beautiful, beautiful card. Celestial Cataclysm. Always a nice hit. It's like our new E-Strike. Invert Existence. Genesis. Dimensional Crossroads. Lumina Ascension. And, yep, back to that Dread Scythe we started with. That brought us a total of four, five, six, seven, eight Majestics, one of which is a foil. Seven regular, one foil. That's pretty average. Okay. <clears throat> Clean this up and we'll get box number two out. <clears throat> yeah, foil's a nice tome. Pretty average box though. We didn't hit any legendaries, so you know. I like it when you hit legendaries. That's that's a lot more fun. I get to yell bang and bam and 
get all excited. And by the way, where's my library? Y'all are slacking. I need somebody to pull me a library here. Because if you don't pull a library, by the time this video is over, somebody on this video, I'm probably going to go library hunting. And that's, well, yeah, you all know how that goes. It goes like a lot of fun, right? <laughs> yeah. Hope everybody's had a chance to go on a library hunt by now. I highly recommend it. One of my favorite activities in Monarch, you know? Swing for the stars, why not? You might just, like, hit the moon or something. Nothing wrong with that. Box number two, we've got Kevin and Charlie. We're going odd and even. Kevin, you are odd. Charlie, that would make you even. Odd it is. Put a nice little shuffle on these things. Yeah, that's probably about enough. Get them out here for our contestants. Nick says he hasn't had a time to open a single pack yet. Oh man, Nick. I tell you what, buddy. As soon as you do have time, I highly recommend it. It's a lot of fun. I've opened all the sets. The only thing I haven't opened yet that's out there is Monarch Unlimited. And I'm sure it's fun too, but tell you what, I bet you Monarch First is more fun. So, this one is right up there with Crucible of War. Meaning, it's fun as hell to open. Alright. We got ourselves an Iris of Reality. Kevin, good luck, sir. Your first pack. Out Muscle. He hopes to out Muscle Charlie. Let's find out. Writhing Beast Hulk. Slapping them hooves on, all right. Kind of weird. Hooves, you like put on hooves as equipment? Frontline Scout. I've got the best job. You know, yeah, I kind of, I, I do enjoy it. I must admit it's kind of fun helping you all look for, look for spice. I'm like a spice guide. Endless Maw for Charlie. Good luck, Charlie. Tremor. Don't do the tremor thing. Iron Hide Gauntlet. Whoops. Parable of Humility. I was supposed to slap a sleeve on that before I flipped it over. Not sure why I did that. Okay. I banged my hat into the camera, too. Kevin, what do you got, buddy? Glisten. Prismatic Shield. Ironhide Helm. The Tremor of Irathiel. Okay. We're really doing that Tremor thing around here. No, I don't put hooves on in the morning, Charlie. That would be kind of weird. Here we go. Invigorating light for Charlie. He's got his hose on already, right? Consuming aftermath. The gauntlet. Okay, he's got the gauntlet now, too. Starting to get all... Ooh, boom! Fancy on us, Charlie. <laughs> nice. It's like, yep, he's got that gauntlet on. He's got some weird-ass hooves. 
And how about a vestige? Vestige of soul. Yes, indeed. Vestige of soul. That is a gorgeous, gorgeous cold foil legendary hit, folks. Love this card. Man, that thing is hot. Look at this thing. Just look at this thing. Oh, beautiful job on the cold foiling. Gorgeous. Gorgeous card. Man. Congratulations, Charlie. Did not take long to merc that one. Hoo-wee. Spice Town guy over there. Kevin, I don't know how you feel about that, man, but... <sighs> that might make the battle a little rough on you, Kevin. Charlie murking you. Congratulations, Charlie. Vestige of Soul. That thing is gorgeous. Alright. Spectral Shield for Kevin. He's like, that's cool. I got a shield. It's made of library books. I hope so, Kevin. Prismatic Shield. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Herald of Judgment. Aether Ironweave. Engulfing Light. <laughs> that was some powerful drinking. Now, oh, man, y'all should have seen the burrito I had for dinner. That thing was powerful. Holy smokes. It was like the biggest burrito I have ever attempted to merc. And it almost murked me. It was huge. I did not finish it. Man. I think if I had, I don't know if I'd be here right now. I'd be like indigestion. Valiant Thrust for Charlie. Phantasmify. Dreamweavers. Tell you what though, y'all ever come out and visit me? I know a really good taco truck. Piercing Shadow Vice. Okay. Gotta wash down that delicious burrito. And lucky for me, they stuck the burrito right next to the pot shop. Writhing Beast Hulk. That's like entrapment, right? Rise above. Ironhide Helm. Void Wraith. I haven't seen a Void Wraith in a while. That's because it's a foil common. Typically, don't spend too much time looking at the comments. Spectral shield there, Charlie. I think your vestige works as a shield. Merciful retribution. Dropping a card. Yep. It was just a rare dimensional gateway. Nothing special. Hooves. Putting on them hooves again. Two sets of hooves. Illuminates. Nice one. Well, that's a foil common. Hatchet of body. Arc Light Sentinel for Kevin. Got you on the board, Kevin. It ain't much when you're staring down a vestige of soul, but you know what? We gotta start somewhere. Arc Light Sentinel. The Vexing Malice after that. Ironhide Legs. And let this be a library. That's not a library. Battlefield Blitz. Maybe a nice uh, Cold Foil Majestic. I think the Cold Foil Majestics might be worth more than the uh, Legendaries by now. Rightly so, because they're harder to hit. Alright, Sonata... Arcanix. Arcanix? Yes, Arcanix. Sonata Arcanix for Charlie. Seek Horizon. Gallantry Gold. Memorial Ground. Uh huh. More graves. Charlie is putting people in their graves around here, Kevin. I don't know. It's just not looking good for you. Charlie's a brutal murker. All right. 
yeah, last I checked, the uh, Soul Harvest there. Uh, Dusk, Pass, Dusk Path Pilgrimage for Kevin. The Ebb and Fold. Yeah, last I checked, the uh, Cold Foil Majestics were worth more. Frontline Scout. But yeah, the Illusionist booties are uh, of the legendaries. I think those ones are the most. And then Vestige right behind that. At least, uh, pretty sure. So that's a pretty good hit right there, Charlie. Tome of Torment. Speaking of good hits, we'll take it. Majestic Tome of Torment. Consuming Aftermath. The Stubby Hammerers. What a name for a card. If somebody knows why that card is named that, just clue me in. Merciful Retribution. Dusk Path Pilgrimage, the Battlefield Blitz, the Dreamweavers. That Illusionist equipment looks pretty ephemeral, you know? It's just like nothing to it at all. Which makes sense because it doesn't block a damn thing. Courageous Steel Hand. What does it do? I haven't even looked at this yet. Let's look at it together. Destroy it, and the next Illusionist attack action card you play this turn loses and can't gain Phantasm. Go again. Huh. Okay. So this is just like spell void stuff. Can't gain phantasm. Somebody's gonna have to explain that part to me. Alright, cracked bobble. You got yourself a cracked bobble, Charlie. Seek horizon, sir. Out, muscle. Your iron hide plate is ready. I thought you were wearing vestige. Gotta take your pick, man. Second swing. Oh, oh he's gonna wear both. Take a second swing. Galaxy Black showing on the back for Kevin. He's hoping. That'd be a sick merc. Arc Light Sentinel. Dude, you already did that once. That's that's twice now. All right. Kevin likes that card. V of the Vanguard. Aether Iron Weave. Convulsions from the Bellows of Hell. Charlie, you are firmly in the lead, sir. This is probably one of those ones where you can kind of kick back and sip a drink or something. Except for that uh, that whole majestic cold foil thing still being a possibility. That does happen, so. Herald of Judgment. Glisten. Eh, it's pretty, uh, pretty rare, though. Ironhide Gauntlet. The other thing you got to worry about, of course, would be, uh, you know, not a Warmonger's Recital. A... Uh, Great Library of Solana. We need to pull one of those out in the box wars. Pronto. Please, Pax, come on. Everybody else got a library. Captain's Call for Kevin. Kevin wants a library. Consuming Aftermath. I almost dropped that card. It's equipment. Ironhide Plate. Boneyard Marauder. Okay, okay. This box has got some more hits in it somewhere. We've only got four Majestics out here besides the uh, Legendary. So we're batting under the average right now for Majestics. I'm still expecting some spice here. That's a cracked bobble for Charlie. Plow through. Wait, is that... No, oh, it's Glisten. See, I thought I saw Genesis down there. That's a Glisten. Captain's Call. That's funny. Stubby hammerers. 
Generic equipment arms. Mm. Alright, whatever. Lumina Ascension. Check it out, folks. That is not the extended art. I wish it was. I wish it was. But that is a rainbow foil. Lumina Ascension. Nice hit. Charlie, you are murkin'. Kevin, I don't know what to say, buddy. I don't know what to say. Captain's Call. Phantasmify, Kevin. Blood Drop Brocade. Kevin's like, I know what to say. Library. Smash with Big Tree. That's not library. Seeping Shadows. Oops, that doesn't go in that pile. Battlefield Blitz, Charlie. The Ironhide Plate. And a second swing. I think you already took your second swing. That's like third swing, dog. Hmm. Alright. Charlie's just swinging. Kevin's like blasphemate. I'm gonna mess him up, he says. Kevin's making deals with a with a demon. Raiden, ooh, nice hit. Got ourselves Raiden, Duskbane. That is a short printed majestic. A valiant thrust behind that. Hooves of the Shadow Beast. Endless Maw. <laughs> Charlie's like, I'm going to swing as much and as hard as I can. Smash, smash, smash. <laughs> All right, Charlie. Dimensional gateway. Convulsions. You don't want to do the convulsions thing. Hooves of the shadow beast. Ghostly visit, also known as PBS. Okay. We got us a soul shackle for your final pack, Kevin. Hopefully there's a library in here. I don't know, man. It's been rough. Soul reaping, even. Hmm. Indeed. V of the Vanguard. Yeah, sometimes the V gets smashed, buddy. Blood drop brocade. Come on, one time. Throw us a library. Lunar Tide Plunderer. Mm -hmm. All right, Kevin. That was it. That's all they wrote. Charlie, congratulations. You have won the box. Let's see what you got in your last pack. Take a little victory lap, buddy. Lumina Ascension. Dude, you got two of those in this box to go with your two Arclight Sentinels. One of them was in foil with Illuminant Ascension, though. And Hallowed Rites. Gallantry Gold. And. Graveling Growl. Okay. Well, there you have it. Another box of Monarch unsealed. It's going to be a while before that feels significant <laughs> because we are ripping the hell out of these right now when you think about the way that uh, boxes get unsealed it's uh it's on a curve if you will folks imagine a curve it's uh you know we're down here at first and you get this little pre-release bump right a little pre-release bump and then all of a sudden Boom, everybody's unsealing, everybody's unsealing, everybody's unsealing, everybody's starting to stop unseal. And slowly, sooner or later, we'll be here. But right now,
We're here. Let's rip. All right. Gotta love those legendary hits. Just hotness, just hotness. Monarch is so much fun. Check this stuff out. Let's go through this real quick. We got the Vestige of Soul for the big hit. And he didn't even wait. Charlie got that right off the bat. A beautiful Vestige of Soul. Check the corners on that thing. Those look pretty good. Oh, oh nope, never mind. <laughs> That looks pretty bad. Got one really nasty corner there, but hey, can't win them all. Okay. Lumina Ascension in uh, foil and non-foil. Tome of Torment, Sonata Arcanix, Raid in Duskbane, and two Arc Light Sentinels. That only made for a grand total of seven Majestics, six of which were non-foil. So that's a little bit light on the uh, Majestics, but... You can't complain about a box with a legendary in it, folks. <clears throat> so I ain't complaining. I know Charlie's not. Congratulations, Charlie. Okay. Yeah, the centering looks really nice, but the... Uh, <laughs> That one corner was just murked. No good at all. So, win some, you lose some. That one, yeah, no good. All right. You've got your stuff set aside, Charlie. Made room for James. James and Saw. Those two are going to have some fun. For those that don't know, Saw is uh, somebody... Uh, well, semi-famous, if you will, on the uh, the Merker scene, the player scene, uh, down there in New Zealand. He's uh, kicking ass. Simon Austin Wallace. Hope you're watching this, buddy. Take a virtual bow in the crowd as you kick James's ass in a, in a game that doesn't use your skill at all. Or you lose to him, one way or the other. All right, odd is James, and saw is even. Odd it is. Got to get some more sleeves out here. Up oh, there they are. Yep, the saws here. All right. Good luck to both of you. Good luck. Got a pile of fresh sleeves here. Yeah, I've got a uh, I've got a case of Crucible of War hiding in my attic that I uh, might have gotten from a from a murker named Saw at one point. Yep, that's right. I had him sign it because I was thinking ahead. Someday that case is going to be worth way more because it's got Saw's signature on it. I mean, how many of y'all got a case of Crucible of War with Saw's signature on it? Oh, that's right, zero. I bet Saw doesn't even have a case with his, with his signature on it. Saw, don't go doing that. <laughs> Mine's one of one, damn it.
All right, good luck to both of you. May the best Merker win. All right, invigorating light for James. Pulping, human smoothies, Dreamweavers. That sleeve is just it's like one of those ones that got bent in the packaging. Let's try again. That penny sleeve does not meet standards for a Dread Screamer. <clears throat> penny sleeve too bent. <laughs> All right, saw so your first pack of goodness, sir. Dimensional Crossroads. When are you guys going to have to show me that library? I really want to see it tonight. And I got so much shit to do. Like, if we don't get it during this video, I'm going to be annoyed. Ironhide Helm. And I'm going to have to sit here and crack all night looking for a freaking library. Brandish. I'm counting on you guys. Galaxy Black for James. He wants the cold foil one. Don't we all? Seek Horizon. Phantasmify. Oh, I dropped your dress on the ground. Sorry, James. It's a it's a nice dress. Kind of dirty now, right? Dropped it on the ground. Can I have it? Never mind. That was weird. You can keep it. Deadwood Rumbler. Hmm, the ravenous meat axe. I don't know. Valiant thrust. I kind of like the mandible claws. Endless maw. Gallantry gold for you, saw. Herald of rebirth. James, here we go. Vexing Malice for you. The Dimensional Gateway. Ironhide Plate. Getting all plated up. Do something big, maybe? Nope. Adrenaline Rush. Uh, this is a Sony. Sony something or other. Huh? I'll let you know afterward. At first, I was using my cell phone because it's actually really difficult to get a camera that's as good as a cell phone. Glisten. The uh, cameras built into cell phones are amazing. Consuming aftermath, especially considering their size. Ironhide legs. And one of the things that uh, is really difficult for cameras when you're doing something like this is the autofocus stuff. So you're like, here, you want it to focus quickly, right? You don't want it to sit there and like not be in focus. So the faster you can get the camera to focus, the better. Because, you know... You wouldn't want Take Flight to be out of focus. So you bump your head into the damn thing. I really ought to take the hat off or turn it backwards or something. I don't wear hats that often. Alright, James. Hatchet of body. Consuming Aftermath. Herald of Triumph. It's a pass-through HDMI, though. Time skippers. Got to have that pass-through HDMI. Ooh, what's this? Vexing Malice. Ugh. I swear I felt cold foil on that. Uh, yeah, I'll, I'll look it up after the, after the uh, video there. I had to do a bunch of research. Pulping. Consuming aftermath saw. Put on your iron hide legs. It's time to murk. With a 
Overload. <laughs> oh boy. Got us a prism. Is that your waifu, James? Are you a prism fella or a uh, or a Shiana fella? If you have to pick, never mind. I don't care. Out oh, muscle. Captain's call. Ironhide legs. I just thought it was a really weird conversation when that conversation came up. Unworldly bellow. I mean, clearly Levia, right? <laughs> Alright, Saw, what's it going to be for you, man? Unhallowed Rites, Valiant Thrust, Ironhide Gauntlet, Take Flight, isn't that the second Take Flight? I think it is. Ravenous meat axe for James. Valiant thrust. Another valiant thrust. All right, we'll pretend that that didn't just happen. Ironhide plate. <laughs> Two valiant thrusts in a row. They're both red, buddy. Hey, minnowism. You put in two valiant thrusts, and then it's minnowism. <laughs> oh boy. Spectral shield for Saw. Tear limb from limb. Nice hit, Saw. Gotta love that brute action. Plow through. There's some euphemisms in these cards, aren't there? Dreamweavers. <laughs> oh man Ooh, hey look at that rainbow foil majestic genesis okay good stuff james has got himself a bobble pack show us your bobble buddy has everybody noticed that it's got some of that uh, arcane smoke or whatever coming out of it now the bobbles had itself an update Rainbow Foil Genesis on the Saw side. That is a masher. Parable of Humility for James. Vexing Malice. Time Skippers. You're going to have to go big, James. Like Cold Foil big, I'd say. Take Flight. Third Take Flight in the box. And those are pubes. What? <laughs> Spectral shield for saw. <laughs> Plow through. Endless maw. The blood drop brocade. Saw's got himself a pretty dress. Ooh, glisten. Glisten in the foil. See, look. I'm telling you, it's not my fault if I get them mistaken for one another, right? I mean, granted, this is a red pitch glisten, but still. I think Genesis only comes in one color. Makes sense. And it's yellow. The illusionist is trying to make people use yellow pitch cards. Kind of fun. Soul food for James. He is on the board, folks. Don't count him out. He got himself some soul food. Battlefield Blitz. Hooves of the Shadow Beast. Piercing Shadow Vice. Writhing Beast Hulk for you, Saw. Rise above. Halo of Illumination. Rise 
Graveling Growl. What is it? What's a Graveling Growl? Besides a weird name for a card. All right. What about gravelly growl? Like, not graveling. I don't know. It's like you're hearing it as you're reading it. Is that the idea? I don't know. I don't know. James has got himself a battlefield blitz. The glisten. Ironhide helm. Come on, buddy. Merc some cold foil. Yinty yanty. That's a foil. The iris. That one looks really cool. Love the artwork on the iris of reality. Rise above for saw. Dimensional gateway. The aether iron weave. Dimensional gateway again. Okay. Getting all your dimensional gateway needs taken care of in one pack. Spectral shield for James. As long as you're into blue pitch. Merc of the beast. That's right, folks. James got himself a majestic. Merc of the beast. Nice hit. Plow through. That's right. Keep going, man. Don't stop. Aether Iron Weave. Don't stop. Writhing Beast Hulk. Hmm. All right. Saw's still got the lead with that beautiful foil Genesis. Exude confidence. Oh, yes. There you go, Saw. Another nice hit. Exude confidence. All right. Writhing Beast Hulk. The hooves. You get the hooves right before you get the spice, right? Oh, ooh, ooh. Yes. Yes, you do. This is cold foil. Aether Iron Weave. All right. Cold foil. Aether Iron Weave for Saw. Nice. Throw a little extra plastic on that. Go into semi rigid town. There we go. Keep it well protected for its long trip across the seas. I get that better centered in there, actually. There we go. A little bit better. <laughs> All right. Not a bad hit, Saw. Not a bad hit. That one's actually pretty hard to come by. I feel like uh, different common cold foils have different hit rates. I could be wrong. I could be way off on that, but it just kind of feels that way. Herald of Triumph for James. He's got plans. Prismatic Shield. Ironhide Plate. Come on, James. Throw us an extended art foil. Ugh, not a Dread Screamer. Ew. He says Celestial Foil. Is the Celestial Foil worth more than a uh, common cold foil now? It might be, huh? We'll look it up if we need to. That'd be fun, right? Merkham. All right, let's go, Saw. Tremor. Soul Reaping. <clears throat> Hooves. Hey, hey. It's the hooves again. All right, what do we got? What do we got? Nothing. Dusk Path Pilgrimage. <clears throat> Last pack, James. This is it, man. If you're going to bust out, you got to do it right here. The majestic mutated mass to start us off. He's got something up his sleeve. Rise above, buddy. You got this. Put on your halo. The time is now. Take us to your library. Door, tear limb from limb. Okay. Majestic rainbow foil. Tear limb from limb. That one right there is not going to be worth more than an Aether Iron Weave in Cold Foil. 
At least I'm pretty sure it's not. So I do believe we're going to call this battle. I can look it up if you want, but good game saw. Invigorating light. Invigorating light again. At least they're different pitches this time. Ebb and fold. Victory lap saw. What do you got? Minnowism. Just a little guy. All right. <clears throat> I'm going to take a quick look. Let's find out real fast. Aether Iron Weave and uh, Terra Lynn from Lim. Let's just do a quick check. Just curious. Don't want to don't want to leave that stone unturned here. Uh, I don't think anybody's really going to be doing too much with Terra Lynn from Lim, unfortunately, because nobody seems to like Brute, even though Brute kicks ass. It's the best class, and everybody should play it. In my opinion that is completely invalid because I don't even I haven't played in tournament yet so yeah well that looks like about a $30 card Aether Iron Weave is gonna be well over that so yeah I think I'm gonna go ahead and definitely declare that yep big time all right saw congratulations sir you murked him you came into his own territory, sir. You went up into his home, and you murked him. He's going to want revenge. Just a heads up. <laughs> Y'all should have a uh, revenge battle soon. I'll look forward to putting it on for you. Aether Ironweave for the big hit there. Cold foil Aether Ironweave. It is a beautiful cold foil. I really like the way they mix a little bit of color into them this time around. All right. I mean, they did that in crew as well. Uh, let's see. We had two rainbow foils in this box, one of which was Terra Lim from Lim, and the other one was Genesis. So that's pretty cool. Two rainbow foils this time. But besides that, we had Mutated Mass, Merc of the Beast, Soul Food, Exude Confidence, Terra Lim from Lim without the foil, and Dimensional Crossroads. Grand total. We've got six non-foil and two foil. That's a pretty good total. I like it. Okay. Pick these up and set them aside. Get them off in the mail. To Mr. Saw, congratulations on your win, sir. And we've got one more battle tonight. One more. Who's it going to be? Julian and Rich. Good luck to both of you. Let's find out who's going first. Odd is Julian, even is Rich. You can almost see that. That's odd. Okay, Julian, you're up first, buddy. Box number four. And good luck to both of you. Yeah, that box was kind of a dud overall. I mean, not bad that you got two rainbow foils, but the cold foil is kind of weak. But, you know, there, there are boxes that come without a cold foil, so, you know, that's, that's like a 3 or a 4 out of 10. It's not a 1 or a 2, right? A 1 or a 2 is going to be a 0 cold foil box. Alright, there we go. I don't think you get to be a 10 box unless you've got a, uh, a library in it. 
but then there's got to be like shades of 10 right because you know some ten, some library boxes are better than others so i don't know maybe a library is like a nine and up like you got to hit a library it's got to be a i don't know we gotta figure we gotta think of the scale yeah zero cold foil boxes do suck they happen they're not that common but there are dud boxes Okay. Julian, let's hope for not a dead box. Hatchet of body. Good luck, sir. Sonata Arcanix, right off the bat. Glisten. Ebb and fold. And be little. There it is. The card that goes with minnow minnowism. Okay. Be little and minnowism. Dave says in the past three days he's seen more non cold foil boxes than boxes with cold foils. Wow. That's crazy. The odds roller coaster is coming back around, huh? Okay. Spectral shield. Good luck, Rich. You got yourself some convulsions. Don't do that. <laughs> Dusk Path Pilgrimage. We don't need you convulsing right off the bat. We're trying to get you in here to have a battle, sir. Aether Iron Weave. Ooh, Soul Shield. How about that? Majestic Rainbow Foil Soul Shield. Beautiful. I don't think I've pulled this one on camera yet. Nice heart. Well done. Well done. Majestic rainbow foil for Rich. Julian, did you see what he just did to you? He murked you. Rich is trying to murk you, Julian. What are you going to do about it? Pulping. He's going to turn him into a pulp. Dimensional gateway. Ironhide plate. Dusk Path Pilgrimage. Spectral Shield for Rich. Tremor. Don't tremor, man. Convulsions and tremors and dusk paths and, jeez Louise, halo of illumination. I think Rich is just, like, throwing us off. He's going to, like, really hit it soon. Rising solar tide. Okay. Man, if you get one of those no-cold foil boxes, I got good advice for you. You got to push through. You got to go. If you hit a box, or if, you, if you're in a case, and the first box in the case doesn't have a cold foil, pulping. Um, Battlefield Blitz. I say there's probably another box in the case, Ironhide Gauntlet, that's going to have two cold foils. It's going to make up for it. So, rally the rear guard. Because I think the average is 1.25 cold foils per box. So... You know, I mean, it, it doesn't have to be there, but just law of averages, you ought to do okay. I wouldn't, I really don't expect that you should get, you know, two boxes in the same case without a cold foil very often. Invigorating light. I've done that before. I did that on a case of crew. That hurt. Herald of Judgment. Gallantry Gold. That was back when crew was, I don't know, 800 a box or something. Spew Shadow. Ripped an entire case and whammy. Had like three cold foils because one of the boxes had two cold foils in it. One had one, and two had zero. That was one of those cases you almost wanted to write to LSS and be like, hello, it hurts. Can you make it stop? Yeah. Okay. Phantasmoclasm. Thankfully, we haven't had a bad case like that lately. Majestic Phantasmoclasm for Julian. Prismatic Shield, Ironhide Helm, 
Ooh, what's this? Oh, boom! Yes! We got one. Yes, we did. We got ourselves a cold foil majestic. I know that's weird to be all excited about it, but that's better than a legendary. Oh, man. Check out that Dread Scythe. Kick ass, Julian. Nice. That'll do her. That'll do her very nicely. Nice hit, sir. Oof. Let's see the corners. Well, well, that looks like there might have been a little. Uh... Yeah. Oh wait. Where's the... well? That maybe that's on the. Uh, that was on the. That was on the semi-rigid. Good. Okay. Oh, your centering sucks. Really bad. Corners are. Yeah, its corners are pretty bad too. All right. But hey, you got a dread scythe, Julian. Kick ass, dread scythe. Congratulations. Man, working it. Well, Rich, I thought your soul your soul shield there looked good, dude, but heh, I don't know now. I think your soul shield ain't shit. I think that dread scythe just tore it up. Glisten. Captain's call. Ironhide gauntlet. Void Wraith, Rainbow Common. <laughs> oh man, Dave, that's like an 8 5 centering at best. It might even have been an 8. It was pretty bad. Out Muscle for Julian. Battlefield Blitz, Dream Weavers. You've already done the Out Muscling. Herald of Triumph. Is there more in store? Is Rich going to respond? What about an extended art? That'd be kick-ass, right? Pull one of those extended art foils. That might even uh, turn the tide here. Deep-rooted evil. Cool. We haven't pulled one of those today. We'll take it. Deep-rooted evil. Rise above. Time skippers. Herald of Ravages. Blasphemat, Julian. Uh oh. Julian's got the dread scythe. He's got the blasphemate. That's like, I don't know, crossing streams a little or something. Dimensional gateway. Convulsions from the bellows of hell. Stubby hammerers. Herald of Rebirth. Okay. Iris of Reality for Rich. V of the Vanguard. Vexing Malice. Putting on the hooves. Hopefully that means it's spicy. I've had like three good spicy hits after hooves tonight. That's kind of weird. Make it four. Make it four. That's not spicy. Deadwood Rumbler. Boring. All right. Julian, you're murking, buddy. I keep asking Rich to kick your ass, and Rich is like, kind of, I don't know. Maybe he's, maybe he's holding back. Maybe he's got that library hiding. Maybe he does have an extended art hanging out. There's so many cool little things you can hit in this set. It doesn't have to be the one card to beat you at this point. There's many cards that uh, can throw a challenge out to that dread safe. This time it's your turn, Julian. Dusk, Path, Pilgrimage, Tremor, Time Skippers, Pulping. Yeah, you turned your opponent into liquid. Oh no. That was Julian's safe. 
Call me crazy. Or don't. Lumina Ascension. Rainbow Majestic. Nice one, Rich. Out muscle. Gallantry Gold. Smash with a big tree. I thought the Dread Scythe went to me. <laughs> yeah, it was that was Julian's pull. Nope, still managed to count wrong. All right, there we go. Endless Maw. Out Muscle. Ebb and Fold. Seeping Shadows. The Galaxy Black. That's another fun one to hit. We should get the Galaxy Black out next. Rich, Herald of Judgment. I think the Galaxy Black might out, out uh, beat. I think it would beat the Scythe. The Brocade. Blood Drop Brocade. Not as valuable as the Tunic. Seek Enlightenment. But it's so pretty. Got a few packs left to go here. Call it the fourth quarter. Crack bobble. Oops, that means I stuck your spice down here. My bad. We'll just take that back. Raiden. Hey, all right. Got yourself a Raiden as well. Duskbane. Julian's going for all the equipment. That's fair. Valiant Thrust after that. Aether Iron Weave. Bolt of Courage. Okay. The Tremor for Rich. I'd be Tremor into your Rich. Phantasmify. Ironhide Helm. Come on, Rich. Go big. Go big. Cross the line, that's not big. We need another boom. I want a double boom box. <laughs> boom box. Seeping Shadows for Julian. Via the Vanguard. Aether Iron Weave. Express lightning from what? From which end do you express lightning? A anyway, let's move on. Okay. Rich. Arc light sentinel. You got yourself a majestic arc light sentinel. Okay. Nice hit. Convulsions. Blood drop brocade. And the endless maw. Hmm. Well, it seems like we're getting down there. Second to last pack for Julian, who has the lead quite solidly. Dimensional gateway. Phantasmify, Stubby Hammers, Unworldly Bellow. <clears throat> Didn't we just do that? No, that was Endless Maw. Alright. Second to last pack, Rich. Swing big, man. Don't hold back. Show us the Galaxy Black. How from beyond. Consuming aftermath. Put on your iron hide gauntlet. Lunar Tide Plunderer. Hmm. Kick ass art. And it's a common. Last pack for you, Julian. You've got yourself a ravenous meat axe. Me too, buddy. Me too. 
Phantasmify. Out muscle. Iron hide legs. Belt. Or no, bolt. Bolt of courage. Okay. Final foil for you, Julian. Bolt of courage. Rich. This is it. This is the last chance. The last pack you got, man. This is the last pack of the night. Make it spicy for us, would you? Make it a library, please. Howl from Beyond. Mm-hmm. Writhing Beast Hulk. Yup. Stubby Hammerers. Okay. Come on, Rich. Come on. One time. One time. Herald of Triumph. Well, that's a foil rare. Julian, congratulations. There we have it. We started off with what I thought would be the big Merc. A nice soul food. And we had a Raiden Duskbane. That's a pretty big hit there. Phantasmoclasm. Sonata Arcanix. Arc Light Sentinel. Lumina Ascension. Deep Rooted Evil. And let us not forget the short printed Majestic. Cold Foil. Dread Scythe. That I just dropped. <laughs> That's why it's in all that plastic, so I can drop it all I want and not screw it up. Ain't that great? All right. Well, thank you, everybody, for turning out. This was a lot of fun. I think we'll be back soon. I might take tomorrow night off. There's a lot going on tomorrow night. We'll see. But I guarantee you I'll be back Saturday. We got a really special surprise. Well, surprise. We got a really nice event going Saturday. It's no surprise. It starts at noon. PST. Be there. Alright. Till next time. Catch y'all later.